Refugee Reception Center in Przemysl, Poland. A garbage truck passed by and it makes sound similar to the siren. I woke up on the 24th of February because of the sounds. I'd never heard the sounds of artillery, but I woke up and I understood right away that those explosions are... Well, it had started. While I was sitting and gathering my things together, just in case we had to go to the basement, I saw that my windows were shaking and, and kind of loud, well, I don't know, some kind of noise. They would shoot from 2 a.m. and especially from 3, 4 or 5 a.m. A bomb flies, you understand you're gonna die now, the floor starts shaking, your child sleeps in the hallway, and you understand, now we will be no more. My whole family, my mom, dad, two children, my brother, I came to my parents when the war began. And, and by some miracle we are saved. And again, everything calms down, then once more something starts shooting. Again you think you're gonna die, you take your child, fall to the floor, from basement to basement to another basement, you cannot even get to your house because the siren goes off again and then once more you have to grab everything and run away. They shot at civilians in front of my eyes. They shoot like that without aiming. They probably want to hit each other, but it hits us. The planes fly right above us and it explodes beside. Very scary. Actually, the plane is the scariest. There were explosions all around us. We were in the shelter, in the school in Obolon. Tanks would drive beside us and there were days when we were not allowed to leave the school because there was a shooting close to the school. It is very scary when it explodes close to you. Everything shakes, the windows break. It is very scary, really. I'm saying it. I... can I already... I can't go on. I just feel very... I felt scared and now when I remember I feel very scared. There were many of those who wanted to leave. It was the only day when the bridges between the left and the right banks were open, so that people could evacuate themselves from the city. We had to get our kids together fast. We left, well, we took only those things that were ready. We just put a couple of sweaters inside, some documents, some water, and that's it. So we had two animals with us. We took them and decided to go. At the train station it was just impossible. You could not get on any train. There were just many people. Lots of people with children were trying to leave and they were pushing each other. Because it was very scary, the sirens went off and there were explosions near the train station. You can't leave your children or animals. When we got on the train, one man saw that we had dogs. He was smiling while leaving Ukraine and said, I banged my Labrador with a hammer on the head and buried. I can't leave my dogs. The train stood there for about two hours. It couldn't take off because of the siren, because of the air raid alarm. We barely left Kyiv under grad missiles. We could barely leave. I was trying to save my grandchildren and daughter as I could. I didn't sleep for four days behind the wheel and almost didn't eat. On our way, there were almost no bombings anymore, starting from about Lviv. The only thing when we stood in the corridor every time we stopped, it was scary. What if they attack us and so on. But then we arrived here and were loaded with tea, water, sandwiches and so on. We were also given toys. Somehow we left, we just prayed to God, prayed to God, asked God, Thank you, God, that we left and came here to Poland. Here in Poland we were met so well. This is just a blessed people, thank God. When we stopped here, we left the train at night, and it was unusual to be able to stay outside at night, and it was quiet, nothing was shooting. My parents, they are, at the moment, they are military, well, they are members of the armed forces, and they stayed there. So they say they will fight till the end. They expect that the whole territory of Ukraine will be bombed. And well, our, our city. 
we had to leave our our home, abandon it. I hope I'm not. I'm very thankful to you for accepting us. I don't want to say I. I have to sit on someone's neck, or for sure we want to go back to our own home, because we have our own homes which we had shaped for years. We want peace very much and to go home. I'm only worried about my parents because they, they will not hide. They will go and tear, and I don't want something to happen to them. Apart from that, everything's good. Everything will be okay. I will have a place to come back to. Like that. It is a difficult time for everyone, and we just have to live it through. We just have to believe that this will stop and not allow us to think that this will continue. All of it. Everything will be peace. We will all go home. We will all brew tasty tea, buy a huge cake, and we will stay home. And on the news, we'll hear only that somewhere in China, a panda was born. Somebody has a birthday. Somebody will have a wedding, and we will do all that. And there will be no word about the war anymore. Please, I can't talk. We came from Ukraine. We have a war at the moment. 